bang bang. We're on the train, so we we'll just have a look how we are in this little bit of a hidden away space. There's a bridge coming off a bridge, which is weird, so we'll have a look at that. It's up front, we're well, probably off the, the road sign. Yes, I'm Bobby Media. Two bubbles. I've just got that. Looks like you can have on something. You've got the plantain maybe or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm here. I'm poorly still, but I'm here. I got an eye bolt. Thank you, Paul. Good morning. Not quite sure what this is. It's like some sort of vent or whatever. If you can help us out on that one. I've never seen one before. Cast metal and lots of holes in. Get them out of the water. Pulled up a little watch, don't think it's nothing brilliant, but we'll take it back clean in case. In without getting stuck, and I go and pull that up, bang bang. And if you can see that, guys, I'm gonna come around the camera. But if you can see on the handle there, it actually says Mauser, so that'd be a little German pistol there. That nice. This is a German Mauser WTP1 pocket pistol and was only made between 1921 and 1938. It was born out of a necessity for compact yet powerful firearms and was the perfect choice for those seeking discreet protection in uncertain times. Marketed as the ultimate best pocket pistol, the WP-1 quickly gained popularity among civilians, law enforcement officers and military personnel alike. 
Despite its size, the Mauser WP1 packed a formidable punch. Chambered in .25 ACP, this semi-automatic pistol delivered a reliable performance in a variety of situations. Whether carried as a backup weapon or as a primary means of defence, the WP-1 installed confidence in its user. The discovery of this Mauser is a rare and remarkable feat, an unforgettable moment in the ongoing quest to uncover hidden treasures. Been old padlock here. Well, say old, probably since the 50s or you know, we'll clean it up and have a look. There, there will be a nail under there because there's a brass. I have seen them with VR on before, so it could be Victorian or it could be 50s, 60s. Also, I've hauled out this nice big thread stopper. That's nice. Nice and big. Look at week in a row. Right, we've just pulled that up, Kirsty's out with it up because that was really heavy. But me and Kirsty have been checking all the wood because you've got to make sure. And what did we what did we find, Kirst? We've got a little buckle. I do think that's modern, so Yeah. Yeah. I'm you never know, you've got to check it. And then we've got a, a plastic button. But there is some writing on it, so it's worth it's worth taking back and having a look. Levi. <laughs> <laughs> Made in Taiwan. <laughs> but yeah, you've got to check the crud. You've got to wait. the crud all around there. It's quite thick in places. Yeah, so always check your little bits, because you never know. We've got an old shovel. Suit. I'm every suit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. So, anybody that's asked me, well, knows I'm not really into cars and mountains, but pulling up pieces of car, I've had a twin cam, and I've just had that as well, and I'm sure this off a, off a car. I've probably been shouted at now, I don't know, but I'm, I'd say that's definitely off a car. That's a lovely piece, that. If not, it could be a Roman mask. Comment below if you know what this item could be. Or if you know what car or motorcycle it may have came off. Thanks, everyone. Another part of that car, probably. <laughs> There you go. And a clothes hanger. Just about now, that is the biggest one. I don't know if the camera does the justice, but that is the biggest one I have ever found. There, the Battle of Burton was here. So, is this from the Battle of Burton? Let's see if we can pull some more out. This object is called a roll, which is a small revolving wheel with sharp points typically attached to the end of a spur. A spur is a metal instrument worn on the heels of boots or shoes by horse riders. And I've got this piece. Now, as I've said, I'm pulling pieces of car up. And I've just got this piece, which is a bit weird. A bit of a weird shape, that. I thought it was the ashtray at first. But, uh, yeah, all bits of different pieces of car coming up. Yeah, Steve's in the nail on the edge, I'm not very good with cars. That's the jacking point off the sill. Steve's dead right, I can see it now. Um, 
I'd like to find a piece with the actual name of the car on, that'd be brilliant, wouldn't That's it? That's what I'm looking for off that headlight. So guys, I found a piston. Found a piece of strap in. And I found a very, very old, well I'll say it's very old, probably 50s, old tin opener. I don't think that's in one piece, so that's going to scrap. Right, so this is Mike's fine, it's not mine to be fair, but got a big old buckle there. Got some leather strap in. I do think this is horse related because we have some bridal wear. But yeah, enjoy cleaning that one up. The rusty ring. This looks like a piece of an old motor. Some copper on there as well. So I've just found an old insulator. I'm going to clean that up and have a look see if there's any date on it because some of them have dates on. And a little old padlock as well. That's uh, a lot older than the other one we found, I think. Oh. I'm ever ready. Combination. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, whatever that, whatever that might have been. But oh, look at that. I've got a little, little skateboard. Isn't it? Oh, for flip's sake. Nice and cushioned here anyway. <laughs>
That's off the side of a, an old cooking pot. That could potentially tie in with a battle that happened there. And we've had these now, I don't think these are very old, but we have not got a clue what that is. We've Google lensed it and everything. It's not, we don't know. Probably something really simple. <laughs> oh, one towel first. <laughs> Got me a zippo -y sort of type lighter. Oh. Might be a Ronson. There you go. You can see, I think. Well, mm. Oh, yeah. Could be like a clock key. Oh, that's stinky. Yeah. Get a clock glen to tap the crud off that. But you can see that there. I hope you can see it. It's a little key. Little diddy key. Obligatory spoon, spoon, and some sort of hook for a wheel. We've got a boy lock. We've got a bar. We're at Nile, we've all stone stuck to it, that's how we find stuff. I've got a screwdriver. A large screwdriver. <laughs> well, at first glance I thought it was a, a grenade pin puller, but no. It's uh, somebody's made. Probably a little lock out of it, as you can see. Some uh, rope around the top. There's something about me in the front of old uh, fireplaces at the moment. And we've had that thing. Looks like it would have plugged onto something. Got to be off the car. It's got to be. Red paint as well. Another buckle here, like a strap buckle. Royal Ball 2 on side. It's like some sort of axle off something. And yeah, it makes always lead to night. Another car part. <laughs> so well, I'm glad I've got that out. Electrical cable. Look <laughs> at that. Definitely a bike down there. We've got some of bike gears and a brake. We've got a little fidget spinner. And it remains of a really old fire extinguisher. In there okay, so we're another padlock. <laughs> We've got like a flangey thing here, but I'm going to take it back and clean it in case. Probably just off a car, but we'll check it. And if you look carefully in here, big ball of crud, and we've got the remains of a well, fence topper, which is good. A couple of them today. We are behold how our fates are growing and when we come to life and I believe in coloring the world got a holler to be heard in time we can fight back ready to go
Love to you all guys, I'll see you on the finds. We've had a brilliant day here. It's been a very remote time now. Yeah, it's driving day. But we've enjoyed it. Yeah. We've enjoyed it, and that's what it's about, isn't it? So um I'll see you on the finds. Bye bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> like and subscribe. The finds roundup. Hello everybody and welcome to the round the Rounds Finds Up. The Finds Roundup. <laughs> I'll find my teeth in a minute. And uh, we went to Burton on Trent and uh, Rusty was a bit poorly. That was the start of his illness. That day wasn't in Marie. Mm. Um, so I was pulling all the magnets off that could get him stuck, as usual, beefcake. But anyway, that's what the that's what the girls of Peaky Dippers call me. But uh, yes, amongst other stuff. But uh, yes, uh, we found some bits and bobs. And um, we found it. I'm going to talk about the gun first, because obviously the gun had to go. Um, the gun was Little Mousy, you've seen it in the video, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Little Mousy, I can't believe I pulled that up. I know. A WTP1. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just a rusty gun to me. But yeah, it was a, a little tiny gun, I've seen it come up, and I was over the moon, so there you go. So that was the gun. And I'm sure Marie's put plenty of history in the video about that. Um, was pulling a lot of car parts out down on the riverbank, wasn't we? Yeah. And I think that is part of a car part of some kind. But it's mega, mega baked. So, uh, yeah, just to show we're getting car parts. Um, also had this mask. <laughs> now, this is off the front of um, a, a light, I think, a, a headlight. But we can't find... Um what car or motorcycle it could be off can we oh it could be a motorcycle yeah. mm. any ideas guys let me know any of the car people out there um let me know what that is what it's off is it i don't know it's definitely off a car anyway or, or a motorbike i'd say more of a car i could picture it in my head i can't think of the car it would be then we found that's not a spoon that's a spur because the 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 oom's gone. Looks uh, it's flat. There you go. That's that. I'll bring everything back to show you guys, as you know. Um, found a little watch. Reminds of a watch. Stainless steel. Water resistant. No, it's not. But there you go. There's a, a watch. We've got. Um, oh, I pulled this up. An inside and I've cleaned it up because. If you pull insulators up on this metal part here, there's usually a date on the top, and there's no date, unfortunately. Um, I did find a number on the bottom here. It says N3 or I3. A lot of people collect those, don't they? They do, um, yeah. And if somebody's willing to pay for the postage for that, and pay, uh, and, and pay for the postage, they can have it, because I don't want it. It, mind you, it's been happy to go abroad because that'd cost about a thousand quid to get to America. <laughs> I would, but uh, yeah, if anybody wants it, let me know. I mean, it's going to be stuck in the back garden else. I'll attach the peakies first because some of them do collect bits and bobs. You found this, didn't you, Marie? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, but we wondered what it was at first. We were looking at the, the wrong way around, but we think it's a gate latch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We think it's a gate latch, we're not too sure, but that's that. Bit of a weird piece. Very heavy for a gate latch. Mm. But that's what it reminds me of. Or could it be some kind of a pedal? Mm. Well, there's lots of, car, lots of car parts there. Lots and, of car uh, parts there. What was coming up amongst the car parts was um, 
believe it or not, because when we just, when we did uh, that bridge in Leamington with all the guns, we was putting up a lot of uh, fence toppers, wasn't we? Yeah. And the same with Burton on Trent. So I had that one. Little it's, cute it's one. A nice small cute one. I actually pulled that up while we was on the, doing a bit of live magnet fishing on the live. Oh. If you remember. So I pulled that one up. These are lovely just to paint up. I've got my idea and I've painted lots of them up and my idea will be going onto the group eventually. You'll see what I'm doing with them. Then we had that one. I've still got to clean this one up a little bit more. Still got crud stuck in there, look. Another one, beautiful. We had this one. I don't know who pulled one up. I know I had a couple, I think Michael had the big one here. Michael's got a thing for pulling the big fence toppers up. He has. <laughs> like this one. <clears throat> and it's heavy. It's Michael had this one. They are nice, isn't they, the fence toppers? They are, I mean, some people might be saying, mm, but the, we've got an idea for our garden, have we? <laughs> we've got a um, couple of padlocks. Again, I don't know who pulled them up. It was either me or Michael or somebody, but... There's one. Bit of a plain Jane, really, but we've got some age to it. And then we've got this one with a little slider. There we go. I think on there it says Squire, so Squire's been going quite a while. Um, oh, Marie, you found a little key. Oh, my little diddy key. Which I've cleaned up for you, <laughs> And I actually seen somebody on a metal detecting forum the other day. I actually found this same key. Oh, right. I'm wondering what it was. Uh, so, yeah, they've been took out of the ground as well. Mm. So, it's probably got some age to it. Not mega old, but old enough. But, other than the gun, which we're not allowed to keep, guys. You isn't haven't it? showed your little diddy padlock. Yeah. Oh, this one? Yeah. Oh. I made another little diddy padlock. There we go. Wait, well, you can see by the size of that, to that. Yes, yeah, so another little padlock. But um, as you can tell, guys, that the best find of the day was probably the gun, but we're not allowed to keep them in the UK um, or even at gun part. But um, I had. No, I really like it. And I've actually put it in a frame already. Um, I actually really like it, and many people might go here, yeah, but. I found a rowel, which is this one here. Now, these are usually the size we find. There's one I found in the past look. And there's the one I found in Burton on Trent. You can tell the size difference. Look at that for a rail. Yeah, it is. And I've put this with all my horse stuff. I've got horse teeth, I've got a cow drop. I've got this thing I found in Atchum. <coughs> I've got a bit of stuff I found there. <coughs> bit of bride of wear. I'm gonna put a photo of a horse here eventually. But yeah, that is the biggest rail I've ever found. And that was in Burton on Trent. Wow. So, potentially got some age to it. I cleaned it up as much as I could. I can't see no decoration on it. Some have got some beautiful decoration on them. So that's all we came across that day, guys. It was a bit of a, one of them places where we probably won't, we'll probably go back now and again, but it's not on the top of our list. We are going to a beautiful place Sunday. Um, oh, I can't wait to get there, it's it's going to be so good, it's so historical, it's going back to the 1200s or earlier, and I think even the bridge further down is rebuilt in the 1300s, so if that's classed as modern, well, there you go, so, I can't wait. So fingers it. crossed. Fingers crossed, <laughs> right. fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, the peak is having a day trip on Sunday. So look out for the live everybody at 3 o'clock p.m. British time, and uh, you'll see where we are, and uh, I can't wait to get there, we're going to take the waders, mm. we're going to take the magnet on the pole, and Alison and Steve are going to come in my car with me, so there you go, I'd just like to thank everybody for coming along and watching the video, um, I've had a few, I've had 99% good comments and you get a few bad ones, that, that's YouTube, it doesn't matter, our intros a bit longer and stuff like that. Oh well, it is what it is. I've got seven people in my group and sometimes you have a bit of a longer intro. But um, if you're more happy guys with the video, 
smash the thumbs up for me. It really helps my channel out. Well, error channel out, Marie, sorry. Error <laughs> channel out. And um, subscribe if you haven't already because this channel has got some very big surprises. 2024 is going to be amazing. We're three months into it already. Probably four now. But this channel is going to be amazing. 2024 is the year, isn't it, Marie? Yeah, and we're getting on the young team for history. Yes. We're going to slightly be moving away from... We're still going to be magnificent, but... We're slightly moving away from the normal magnet fishing scenario. We're, we're pushing the boat out. Yeah. Oh, we're not just pushing the boat out. We're, we're just going <laughs> extra mile as well. So, yeah, guys, big thumbs up. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Love to each and every one here. Big love, guys. And I shall see you on Sunday on the live at 3 o'clock British time. Mm -hmm.